Now, kei te wero hia rā no tia te rārangi ingoa o Reipa, i tēnei wā e te ao Māori. E whakahau ana tētahi o ngā rangatira o te hāhi rātana i ngā pononga o te hāhi kia whakarerea e rātau a Reipa. Nā runga i te noho hakahaka a ngā Māori o te rōpū ki ngā tūru tō raro iho o te rārangi. Kāli Hemopo reports. Rātana solidarity is unquestionable when it comes to their faith. But there are claims that their faith in the Labour Party is on shaky ground. Labour MP Damien O'Connor isn't the only one upset at the Labour Party's list. On Facebook, Kerea Mapene, Senior Minister of the Kiaomaia Rātana Church in Auckland, wrote, I'm ashamed at Labour Party's list for this year's election they will never learn. Every Rātana should show their total disgust and abandon Labour forever. For near on 60 to 70 years, we have shown our loyalty to Labour. Our two moki has been an avid supporter of Labour. But after three elections and our candidates being placed below 40 on the Labour Party list consistently, I think that this time around, placing our Arepa candidate, Soraya, uh, uh, at 55, I think that we have to wake up and we have to realise the situation we're in with Labour. The labour Ratana Alliance probably died long ago, but our faith kept us in there. Sarai is sanctioned by the head of the Ratana Church, known as the Tumuaki, Harerangi Mason. She is married to Andre Mason, son of the Tumuaki and former list member of the Māori Party. Her brother-in-law Errol Mason stood as Labour's 2008 Te Tai Auaru candidate and was 52nd on the list. Soraya summed up her listing at 55 in one word. Disappointment. Uh, resigning was an option, uh, but and that was just more around proving a point more than anything else. Um, but as time went by, we have to think through things very carefully. What do you mean, prove a point? Proving a point in terms of the relationship between Ratana and the Labour Party. And this is talking about what was set down in 1935-36 between Michael Savage and T.W. Ratana, uh, and that is with regards to the kawanata. It doesn't seem that in the last, say, 10 or so years that there's been any, uh, any evidence to show and demonstrate that the Labour Party is serious about that. Sarai is sticking it out with Labour, but meanwhile on Facebook, Kereama Pene is sticking in the boot, not just to the Labour Party, but also the political stance of their spiritual leader, the Tumuaki. If our Tumuaki wants to stay with them after this, he is committing a spiritual crime to our founder. Is it the Tumuaki support of the Labour Party that you're disgusted with? I'm, I'm probably more disgusted with our inability to uh, understand politics. Um, and to know clearly when we're being used and abused. Uh, having 60,000 members in our movement doesn't allow us to simply say that, well, we're going to go here or we're going to go there. If there are no benefits to the membership, then you've got to ask the question, why do we go there? Our people gave a warning at the last election that they would not stand for that type of uh, treatment any longer. I would expect that the Tumaki is going to have to have some regard for his movement and, and his leaders. What is the stance of the Tumaki? Look, the, the Tumaki is red through and through. He continues to, to tell us that, um, and we understand that. Um, for myself personally, I respect him for his stance in terms of wanting to continue on um, with the Labour Ratna relationship uh, and, and, f and for obvious reasons. Look, he does. He comes from the old school. We can't expect him to, to think and do things the way that we think that they should be done. I think that whether the Tumaki remains with Labour or not is not going to change the strong attitude of the Mori who now to seek their own way. Ratana leaders will gather at Easter for their National Synod where the issue around the list is likely to be a hot topic. Great story there from Carly Himmelpore.